lots of this, and we have lots to talk about, so be prepared, so be prepared, the issuance of the fear. The issuance of the fear that you've all been attending, that you have all been attending to on this plane, on this plane is deeply useful, is deeply useful. We'll say this for some of you. We will say this for some of you who think it's a bad thing, who think it is a bad thing, the release of fear. The release of fear creates opportunity for change, creates opportunity for change, but nothing is released that is hidden, but nothing is released that is hidden or denied or denied in the crucibles we've been facing. And the crucibles you have been facing are indeed opportunities, are indeed opportunities for humanity to know itself, for humanity to know itself in a new way, in a new way. Again, the claim new, again, the claim new. Behold, I make things new. Behold, I make things new. What was done must be undone. What was done must be undone. What was claimed in fear, what was claimed in fear must be renowned, must be renown. What was chosen in fear, what was chosen in fear must be rearticulated, must be rearticulated in a higher way. In a higher way, humanity stands at a precipice. Humanity stands at a precipice, how it attends to itself, how it attends to itself and its choices through these times. And its choices through these times will either catalyze it, will either catalyze it to a higher level of being, to a higher level of being or create more challenge or create more challenge. You may choose what you wish. You may choose what you wish as opportunity. It is opportunity. We don't tell you how to be. We don't tell you how to be. We tell you who you truly are. We tell you who you truly are. How you choose is always up to you. How you choose is always up to you. Now to declare war. Now to declare war upon another, upon another is going to is to declare war upon the self. If you are at war with another, if you are at war with another, you are at war with yourself. You are at war with yourself. The release of war on this plane. The release of war on this plane is something that will happen, is something that will happen. We are saying this is a promise. We are saying this is a promise because you cannot continue to war, because you cannot continue to war. So if you choose to do the other, so if you choose to do the other, which is left to a new way of being, which is lift to a new way of being, the help will be there. The help will be there and the claim you may make for humanity and the claim you may make for humanity. Behold, I make all things new. Behold, I make all things new is the issuance of the divine, is the issuance of the divine in a new regulatory way, in a new regulatory way. What does that mean, he asks? What does that mean, he asks? Regulatory, regulatory. Well, when you choose the high note, well, when you choose the high note and you play the high note and you play the high note in the face of the low, in the face of the low, the low may rise to meet the high. The low may rise to meet the high without the note played. Without the note played, you attempt to find a way. You attempt to find a way to grapple with the old issuance, to grapple with the old issuance of fear, of fear and its creations and its creations. You will never attend to fear through fear. You will never attend to fear through fear fear. You may understand fear. You may understand fear as a low opportunity to learn, as a low opportunity to learn, but the encounter with fear, but the encounter with fear may lead you to productive choice, may lead you to a productive choice. There is no fear. There is no fear except where I agree to it, except where I agree to it. Now, when we take you to the upper room, now, when we take you to the upper room, we're actually amplifying the divine self. We are actually amplifying the divine self through your entire system, through your entire system. The attunement, I have come, I have come, I have come. The attunement, I have come, I have come, I have come, when invoked, when invoked, reclaims all aspects of self, reclaims all aspects of self in what we call the upper room, in what we call the upper room, and that is the passage many of you undergo, and that is the passage many of you undergo when you face aspects of self, when you face aspects of self that you have sought to deny, that you have sought to deny or refuse to agree to, or refuse to agree to the true agreement. The true agreement with the divine to the divine is not bypassing the old, is not bypassing the old or pretending it is not there or pretending it is not there. It is knowing the fear. It is knowing the fear, feeling it, feeling it and releasing it and releasing it in order to move beyond it, in order to move beyond it. You cannot land. You cannot land on new firmament, on new firmament when you are attached to the old, when you are attached to the old, the passage many of you undergo. The passage many of you undergo is as if from one continent, is as if from one continent to another shore, to another shore, the release of the old. 
The release of the old, the new way, the new way toward forward may bring you to a bumpy sea, may bring you to a bumpy sea, strapped to the mast, strapped to the mast and waiting for calm and waiting for calm, but you will arrive, but you will arrive, you always do, you always do, and you always will, and you always will to align, to align to a new level of vibration, to a new level of vibration will claim you, will claim you through whatever you need, through whatever you need to move beyond the old, to move beyond the old. None of this is punishment. None of this is punishment. It is all opportunity. It is all opportunity, but I'm a new shore, but I'm a new shore in the new way of being, in the new way of being, new claims may be made, new claims may be made. Now the claim to war, now the claim to war is the denial of the divine, is the denial of the divine in its pure sense. In its pure sense, humanity created war. Humanity created war, humanity can lift beyond it. Humanity can lift beyond it, the divine self as you. The divine self as you does not war, does not war because it does not fear because it does not fear. Now, some of you think that this means you become passive. Now, some of you think that this means you become passive in the face of an atrocity. In the face of an atrocity, you may indeed be called to act. You may indeed be called to act. We have said this many times. We have said this many times. You have two feet. You have two feet. If there are people fighting on the corner, if there are people fighting on the corner and you are able and you are able, you may be able to support them. You may be able to support them, but you must know them and who they are. But you must know them and who they are, not decide who is right and who is wrong, not decide <laughs> who is right and who is wrong based on supposition, based on supposition, the light that you are. The light that you are does the heavy lifting does the heavy lifting, the claim that you may make, the claim that you may make in the face of any challenge, in the face of any challenge, I am word through the situation, I am word through this situation, I am word through this potential outcome, I am word through this potential outcome, I am word through this memory or incident, I am word through this memory or incident, may align the idea, may align the idea of what once was, of what once was or what you fear might happen, or what you fear might happen to the inherent divine, to the inherent divine that exists beyond supposition and fear, that exists beyond supposition and fear. Again, this is very simple. Again, it is very simple as if you were singing a song. It is as if you are singing a song in a transposed key, at a transposed key, your relationship to what you see has changed. Your relationship to what you see is changed through this occurrence, through this occurrence. You now may say this for each one present. You now may say this for each one present. I know the truth. I know who you are in truth. I know what you are in truth. I know how you serve in truth. I am word through each one present. Word, I am word. And if you feel the energy, acknowledge it. It will go where it is needed. You are not directing it. You are not directing it. It goes where it's claimed. It goes where it is claimed. It is conscious. It is conscious. It goes where it's required. It goes where it is required. Again, if you would. Again, if you would. I am word through each one present. Word, I am word. Word, I am word. Now, when we say that war will no longer be on the plane. Now, when we say war will no longer be on this plane, that is an outcome. That is an outcome. We do not predict often. We do not predict often. He would prefer we never did. He would prefer we never did. But we will say these words. But we will say these words. The challenges that are facing humanity. The challenges that are facing humanity are all out of the are all opportunities to change. We did not say there would never be another war. We did not say there would never be another war. We are saying you're moving beyond it. We are saying you are moving beyond it as an alternative, as an alternative because the stakes are too high, because the stakes are too high. Bombs are not made. Bombs are not made to keep the peace, to keep the peace. That is a foolish idea. That is a foolish idea. When they are made, they are intended to go off. When they are made, they are intended to go off. They have the ability to. They have the ability to. Now, we do not teach fear. Now, we do not teach fear, nor will we ever, nor will we ever. We teach and promise. We teach and promise for your true natures, for your true natures that know themselves beyond fear, that know themselves beyond fear to be the pathway for others, to be the pathway for others, to become the gatekeeper, to become the gatekeeper or the doorway or the doorway to the upper room, 
to the upper room is simply allowing yourself to be at this level, is simply allowing yourself to be at this level and what you encounter is transformed by your presence. And what you encounter is transformed by your presence. Underline that, please. Underline that, please, what you encounter. What you encounter is transformed by your presence, is transformed by your presence, not the presence of the small self. Not the presence of the small self as much as the vibrational field, as much as the vibrational field that is now operative, that is now operative in a higher level of frequency, in a higher level of frequency. We wish to experience this. We wish you to experience this, and we will offer you this. So we will offer you this. I'll ask yourself these questions. Ask yourself these questions. What am I most afraid of? What am I most afraid of? What would I undo if I could? What would I undo if I could? What is the worst challenge I can imagine facing? What is the worst challenge I can imagine facing? And allow yourself to feel, and allow yourself to feel what these things are, what these things are, and how they serve, and how they serve in the lower vibrational way, in the lower vibrational way. Your fist may be clenching, your fist may be clenching, you may be uncomfortable body, you may be uncomfortable in the body or just reverted to worry, or you have just reverted to worry. We will go to the upper room together now. We will go to the upper room together now. You may say these words. You may say these words. Room. I am in the upper room. Feel this, yes? Let yourself feel the frequency shift. I know myself in the upper room. I experience the upper room. Feel this, yes? And now from this perspective, this way of being, this way of being, ask yourself this question. Ask yourself this question. What am I afraid of? What am I afraid of? You may be surprised that there is nothing there. There is no fear in the upper room. It doesn't express the soul. It doesn't express at this level. You may be offered fear. You may be offered fear. She is leaving you. She is leaving you. The child is ill. The child is ill. The company is closing. The company is closing. The mortgage is not paid. The mortgage is not paid. You may be given evidence to fear. You may be given evidence to fear for the choice you make. But the choice you make is aligned to the negative outcome, is to align to the negative outcome, what you perceive negative, or what you perceive to be negative, to claim the upper room. To claim the upper room in the face of challenge, in the face of challenge, does not mean you're responsible, does not mean you're not responsible. You are not responsible to your prior creations, to your prior creations, but it allows you to move to grace. But it allows you to move to grace, which is the action of the divine, which is the action of the divine, which you will ignore, which you will ignore in the low octave, in the low octave if you are fighting your wars and battles. If you are fighting your wars and battles with the old mechanisms, through the old mechanisms. You think you have to fight for what you want. You think you have to fight for what you want. Perhaps there are things you may learn through this. Perhaps there are things you may learn through this, but you can receive God. But you can receive God and allow God, and allow God to be as you, to be as you or support you in any way, or support you in any way without demanding God be God, without demanding God be God as you say it should as you say it should. Imagine inviting the rain cloud. Imagine inviting the rain cloud to pour water upon you, to pour water upon you. It is doubtful it will happen. It is doubtful it will happen until the cloud is ready to release, until the cloud is ready to release. And when it comes, and when it comes, you may know the self is rained upon. You may know the self is rained upon. You cannot force the divine. You cannot force the divine to do your bidding to do your bidding. That would be the small self conjuring. That would be the small self conjuring. You may say yes. But you may say yes to the inherent divine, <clears throat> to the inherent divine that expresses as and through all things, that expresses as and through all things and allow it to meet you and allow it to meet you, which is the awareness of the kingdom, which is the awareness of the kingdom. You may say this if you wish. You may say this if you wish on this night I choose. On this night, I choose to allow myself to know, to allow myself to know, to allow myself to receive the inherent divine, the inherent divine that I now know is present, that I now know is present in all manifestation, in all manifestation. Please say these words. Please say these words to everything you see. 
to everything you see, knowing that all things are of God, knowing that all things are of God. I know what you are in truth. 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 And allow yourself to be met by the echo of the divine, by the echo of the divine that you have just invoked, that you have just invoked, or in the sea of God. You are in the sea of God because God is all things, because God is all things, even the blue so forth, even when you believe yourself to be separate from it. To be separate from it, period, 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 I'm saying period, 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 stop now, good questions. Okay. Just saying stop now, go to questions.